Hello and welcome to this Leaning Aeronaut 4000 Badminton Racket Review and Racket Number 638. Okay, let's get straight to it. So, availability on this racket. I'm just loading up the E-Zone page here. The, no, wrong one. Uh, yeah, we go. So, availability. Well, for some reason, um, the Aeronaut 4000, the Aeronaut range, you can pick it up, but if you, if you Google search it, it doesn't seem to be many, many places in the UK and Europe selling these rackets. I don't know why leading don't sort themselves out. You know, I mean, I'm always moaning about stuff like this, and leading, you know, why? You're, you're, you've got, you sponsor some of the world's best players. Get your products available across the world. Nevertheless, we will be selling this racket at our racket sale site www.badminton-racket-review.com uh, The general retail price is around £100. I think we're selling this for £85, so it's a reasonably good price. Uh, and that's the racket comes strong with Yonex BG65 at £25 tension. If we don't have stock, just email us and we should be able to get you a back order within seven days. Right, let's get on to the racket specifications and compare them to our own e-zone testing overall the weight of this racket should be 83 plus or minus 3 grams the racket e-zone testing shows this racket to weigh 89.8 grams in total that's with the Yonex BG65 string and the grip supplied by Li Ning balance on this racket 305 plus or minus 4 mil so definitely leaning towards the head here. And that's in fact the vast majority of the leaning rackets we've tested this time are leaning towards the head. Um, the E-Zone testing showed this to be a, quite a head heavy racket, suggesting that actually the balance is far more towards the head than leaning's own measurement. Uh, the shaft stiffness on this racket uh, here, it shows it to be a medium flex and the racket review E-Zone testing show this to be a medium flex racket but going towards stiff so just off the stiff marker i think that's about right um right maximum string tension 30 pounds no we don't have a grip size written on here um, but what we do have is uh made in china and as with all of the leaning range that we've tested this time in 2019 this is made of the frame is made of carbon fiber uh, dynamic optimum frame, yeah, nothing else I think that you would particularly find interesting. So, um, the design of this racket, well, you know what, the, you've got to give it to Leaning. They do deliver a very nice and very well finished racket in terms of paint. Clear, clear to read, uh, very nicely done. Feel of these rackets is so solid and stable, uh, just not very exciting. This is actually quite not bad it's quite it kind of this like black matte uh, finish with this sort of gold graphics and the two things do work quite nicely together um, take a look at these close-up images and see what you think for yourself Okay, specifications are done. Let's go to the E zone. Okay, so before we start our E zone testing, what do you need to know about how we test our rackets? Well, first of all, we use the same shuttles, the Yonix AS30s on all tests. We string, restring all of the rackets with Yonex BG65 at 25 pounds tension. And it's the same player taking all of the shots. Right, now you have some basic understanding of how we test. Let's move on to the smash test. The smash shot that you're seeing here and for all of the rackets we've tested within Badminton Racket Reviews E-Zone, 
uh, we take generally six shots. We take the two highest uh, racket, uh, shuttle speeds and we average those to give us a uh, overall speed. If those two uh, if those two readings are not within a certain percentage of each other, we then retake the entire test. This shot measures the shuttle speed uh, coming off the racket head and also if you go across to the E zone you'll see a picture similar to the one you're looking at on the screen now which accompanies every single racket within the E zone so that's nearly 650 or more rackets with this kind of smash JPEG showing you the racket head speed, the shuttle speed, the distance and the approximate repulsion of the racket. Okay, now we're going to do an E-Zone maneuver test. The maneuver shots was designed to tell us about the racket's acceleration abilities, its ability to shift from one direction to the other or shift quickly from nothing to full speed. It also tests the racket's um, aerodynamics. In this test, the player is sitting still with the racket and once the shuttle is fired, which we, and we measure the shuttle speed to ensure we have uh, consistency within the tests so it's coming at the same speed all the time or roughly the same speed as, as, as much as we can control anyway um, and then the player reacts once the shuttle is fired to hit the shuttle and we are measuring the head speed of the racket during that test Okay, so they're done. Now it's E-Zone control test time. The control test is a simplistic test. We've thought many, many times if there was any other better way of creating a test where we, we are uh, looking, focusing on the control of the racket and able to score it, and we so far haven't come up with anything better. So this, con this control test is essentially a test where we have 14 shots taken you're not seeing all the shots um, on the control video we, we generally film half or less of the shots taken the green bucket here scores maximum the gray scores slightly less and anything in the net or out scores nothing at all Right, so you've seen, you've heard about the specifications. You have a better idea of how this racket is spec. We've done the smash, we've done the maneuver and control test. So, what do we conclude on this racket? To give you a quick synopsis of it, I would say that its key strength, like with so many uh, leaning rackets, is control. It is so stable to use, very stable and really decent level of control. Um, I think with timing and practice, you can get this racket to deliver a reasonably good smash. Um, I don't think the sweet spot's that amazing, but you can. The more you spent time with it, the better the smash got, I felt. Um, in terms of other areas, well, you know, when we talk about defense, we talk about drive, to be honest with you, there are probably better options out there. Uh, a 95 pound, 85 pounds. Well, you could, you could. I think we're selling the uh, Kawasaki King K9 at 99 pounds. The Kawasaki Honor S6 around that price. We're selling the Goose and Gravitas 7 SR around that sort of price bracket. Um, of course, there is the Adidas Spieler, which is like 50 pounds or something. 
uh, release it, going to be released in August. Um, then the, we haven't even got to a bros yet, which are champion rackets. Apex do some champion rackets. Then there is the Yonix Nanos, and sorry, uh, Nano Flare 270 and 370. Great rackets. So there's just too much competition uh, for this racket. Um, and given its two primary strengths, and given it's the fact that it's okay at the other stuff, at that price range, unfortunately, there's just too much else out there for me to say, go give this serious consideration. So I'm afraid to say, while it's a nice racket, it's just not quite good enough given where the marketplace is. So it is a thumbs down. Uh, if it was uh, 65 pounds, maybe it could be a slightly different discussion but at 95 pounds the competition is rife i think yeah i think that's all i have to say about that if you're using this racket um, don't forget that ezone has got thousands of visitors a month leave a review on the ezone if you're an ezone user if you're not leave a review on any of our social media platforms please uh, it is very important. We're trying to build a community of people who play badminton and unlike some of the forums where your opinion is going to get unnecessarily scrutinized and people can get very rude on some of the forums, we administer our social sites and the user zone quite tightly so people will not be allowed to start hurling abuse at each other. If you think this racket is total rubbish, you're allowed to say so. And if you think this racket is the best thing that was ever been created in badminton history, you're allowed to say so. And that's very important that everybody in the community gets to hear what one another thinks without getting into silly personal exchanges. Um, so please do consider that. Outside of that, thank you so much for the support we've received to date. It's been absolutely phenomenal. It's, you know, badminton is growing is growing worldwide it's it's there's a growth in the sport people are seeing the benefits of playing it uh how fast it is to play how important the racket choices people are starting to realize that now you know you cannot just assume every racket is the same i can tell you firsthand that is nonsense we can scientifically prove it's not so it's great it's really great we're really encouraged by the reaction and we're really encouraged by the build of the community around the world and please continue to keep liking the videos please continue to keep sharing and all i have to say at this point is um, if you're not an ezo member there will be a video following this video giving you a, a quick video tour of what the ezo is about outside of that i just want to say you guys are awesome and we love you all Thanks so much and see you on the next video.